Hi, my name is Tomo Matsumura. I'm an associate professor of mathematics at ICU. Mathematics is a part of the foundation of liberal arts education. The origin goes back to ancient Greece and Rome. People realized the necessity to cultivate critical thinking and effective communication and a sense of responsible citizenship. And then they recognized a set of knowledge uh, for this purpose. During the Middle Ages, the content of the liberal arts was categorized into the seven arts, including logic, grammar, rhetoric, arithmetic, geometry, astronomy, and music. You see, three out of seven are essentially mathematics. People considered mathematics as the major components of liberal arts. Fast forward today, in our modern society, uh, somehow people think that uh, mathematics is just one of the subjects we learn and it is exclusively uh, reserved for scientists and, and engineers. Uh, I don't deny that aspect of uh, mathematics completely, but we think that mathematics continues to form a foundation of liberal arts education. So at ICU, we offer well-rounded mathematics education for all students, even those who have a limited background in mathematics. Probably the unique strength of math education at ICU is its complete bilingual uh, environment. You can study math in both uh, Japanese and English. It is a great advantage if you're thinking of going to graduate school in Japan or um, abroad. What I love about mathematics is the essence of mathematics is intrinsically uh, connected to communication. Let me explain that in two aspects. The first aspect comes from the origin of quantitative thinking. When humanity initially formed society, people needed to communicate the quantities of daily necessities. For instance, when they went to forest to gather food, and returned, and it was essential to communicate the quantity of uh, harvested fruits or hunted animals. There, the crucial thought process was to count and measure. Mathematics naturally emerged by extending this fundamental social need. It is essential and inherently tied to the communication of quantitative reasoning. The second aspect concerns how mathematical truth is justified. When you find a mathematical statement, uh, that means you find a proof of it. More practically saying, after you convince yourself you got a proof, you also need to uh, make other mathematicians to understand and acknowledge your proof. Conversely, even if the statement is absolutely true, uh, it is not valid unless it is communicated to others. So you can see that mathematical activity is essentially to articulate the claims using language and symbols, and to convince yourself, and furthermore, to make others comprehend. This is where I think the foundation of mathematics is, uh, is built upon communications. While studying mathematics, I'm sure there are moments you feel you don't understand. To you, it seems like everybody else has no problem understanding and you're the only one who is struggling. It can be pretty depressing and even intimidating. However, I'm telling you, uh, those moments are actually the source of your own uh, originality and creativity. The fact that you are the only one who are not understanding might mean that others are simply glossing over assuming they understand. It's possible that within these situations, there is an idea that only you can discover. At ICU, we actively support uh, these creative learning um, experiences. The students need support because embracing the fact that you don't understand often makes you feel lonely. All you need are peer support and guidance. ICU's small class sizes are not just the numbers, but uh, fostering uh, personal uh, connections with peers, staff, and um, professors. 
my office is always wide open. I have a big blackboard and a big table with chairs. This whole setup is for students to drop by anytime and discuss anything. It makes the perfect environment for engaging、uh, learning experience.